Elizabeth Key has run into new problems. This time it's trouble with underground sewage pipes and it means more construction work on the newly completed waterfront development. Ebony Ferranda, the fix will be messy. Emmy, messy and expensive. The only good news we're being told is that there's no threat to public health, but this just adds to the long list of problems for the key. The opposition has labelled this an embarrassment and visitors here agree. First it was water woes. Bacteria detected at the water park at Elizabeth Quay. Now it's pipe problems. Plumbing defects have been identified, uh, but the MRA are working with the contractors and with the building commission to ensure that they are rectified. The public areas have been laid for barely a year and now parts may have to be ripped up. There's a pipe that has a, uh, uh, has a lean on it that's the wrong way, so, the, so it, it needs to be uh, rectified. There will be um, some parts of the public realm that will need to be lifted and uh, replaced once the plumbing's been fixed. Leighton Broad was awarded the $284 million contract, but it's been revealed that at least one plumber didn't even have a WA licence to carry out the work. Leighton Broad are a competent enough company to build that space. The fact that their supervision has been let down and the, uh, there is problems with the plumbing uh, is a disappointment to us. The problems relate to sewage pipes, but it's not known how long it will take to fix the defects. The government insists taxpayers won't foot the repair bill. The state government has confirmed that the Building Commission has issued a total of eight infringement notices to three licensed plumbing contractors. That's for failing to submit the necessary paperwork to conduct plumbing work here. It's just going to be a financial mess or a court battle in relation to who's going to pay for this mess. Again, it shows that they rushed this project. Visitors agree it's an embarrassment. They spent a lot of money here and a lot of time and you think they would have got it right the first time? It's just ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. Ebony Ferranda, Nine News.